The Pancreas of the Tasmanian Devil Extracted from The Liver Spleen Pancreas Peritoneal Relations and Biliary Systems in Monotremes and Marsupials by William Colin Mackenzie Published in 1918 For the LibriVox Coffee Break Collection Number 11 Science This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Son of the Exiles The Pancreas of the Tasmanian Devil by William Colin Mackenzie Pancreatic tissue may be traced along the common duct of the right extremity of the gastrohepatic omentum, up to the portal fissure. Only a relatively small amount is found in the back part of the dorsal mesentery, corresponding to the mesoduodenum. I have never been able to trace it in relation to the duodenal wall and about the common duct after being joined by the pancreatic duct, so that the amount in this animal in the region of the intestine corresponding to the duodenal loop of other marsupials may be regarded as insignificant. The Tasmanian devil has a well-developed great omentum, which runs from the pyloric region along the great curve of the stomach. It is independent of the dorsal mesentery, by which we mean mesoduodenum, mesentery, and mesocolon, so that no portion of intestine is included in the lesser sac. If we throw the great omentum and stomach up onto the chest wall, we see dorsally about the root of the mesentery a well-defined piece of pancreas, from which strands are traced onto the great omentum. Traced to the left of the mesenteric root, the pancreas passes out to the spleen, but beyond sending several processes on to the great omentum, it is really outside the lesser sac, forming its lower boundary. In some specimens, no pancreas can be traced in relation to the body or the right anterior process of the spleen. In others, however, a piece may be found in the lesser sac related to the body of the spleen, that is, extending towards the fundus. The main pancreatic tissue diffuses itself over the membrane, the lienomescolic or left lateral fold, extending between the short left process of the spleen and the dorsal wall close to the attachment of the mesocolon. This membrane is nearly 10 centimetres long, but pancreatic tissue does not extend nearer than about 2 centimetres to the posterior or dorsal attachment. The membrane is somewhat triangular in shape, extending above from the root of the mesentery out along the lower part of the lesser sac to the left posterior or dorsal short process of the spleen to which it is attached. This basal portion measures about 5 to 6 centimetres. Its right margin is, as stated, attached at dorsal wall to the left of the attachment of the mesocolon, while the left margin is free. End of The Pancreas of the Tasmanian Devil by William Colin Mackenzie Recording by Son of the Exiles